In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to optimize your website to show specific information for desktops and totally different information for mobile devices. This is ideal in situations where you want to give your mobile visitors to your website a different experience when they come to your website and also the same for desktop visitors. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. So one way of finding out what type of devices people use is to use Google Analytics. So I have this uh, website, Meadow Brown Bakery. So as we go through the stats, it looks good. You know, the uh, traffic is not too bad. But as we come here, we noticed one uh, very interesting uh, thing. And that is the bounce rate. The bounce rate here is very high and this is not good. Now, if we take a look here at devices of visitors, we see that we have mobile as the majority. So that means this website is probably bouncing because most of the people that are coming to this website don't have a good experience on their mobile device. Now, let's just take a quick look at this website. So here we can see that uh, the design is not too bad, but there's a lot going on here. So on a mobile device, people prefer to just go to that specific thing they want to work on and, or want to watch or want to read, and it needs to be optimized, nice, easy, and simple to read. So this is probably why. Now I'll prove this and show you that this is actually why. Okay, so this website here is optimized for mobile. Now let's take a look at Mac University. Okay, now, of course, we've just launched this website, so you can see the traffic is not too high, but we have enough data for us to take a look at and analyze. So here, if I scroll down, we notice that the bounce rate is 41%. It's not too bad. And then if we come over here to devices of visitors, we notice that this is totally different. This is now desktop. So that means most people that come to this website are visiting this website on desktops, which means it's highly optimized for that. So this is why I am going to show you how to make sure that your website covers for both audiences, desktop and mobile. Right, so let's go and get started with our tutorial. So here, this is just a basic uh, content website, but of course, what I am going to show you in this tutorial can work on any type of a website. Okay, so uh, we can see here that this is quite a busy website. It's not a bad thing because, of course, we do need to show what this website does, the services, and all that good stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take a look at the mobile view and the tablet view. So if I come over here, in fact, let's concentrate on the mobile view. So if I click here, we notice that there's a lot to go through here. Okay, there's all this information, the video, all this content to go through. So this may be too much for a very small screen. So what we need to do now is to create sections which only show on mobile devices and some which only show on desktop. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to duplicate this because this is the main area that I really want to show. So I'm going to duplicate like that. And then what I'm going to do here on the bottom is I'm going to get rid of things that I don't need. So I'm just going to get rid of this uh, row. So we're going to simplify this. So here on the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the uh, module settings of the uh, heading and just make sure that the size is fine. So I'm going to highlight here, click on this brush tool. Right, so we can see here that the, uh, the text is 49 and 40 on mobile. So what I'm going to do here is just reduce this a little bit. Okay, so I think 24 is better. And then we're going to come over here into the description text as well. I'm going to adjust that to about maybe 16. Okay, so just uh, so that is just enough to uh, to read. So this section that I'm modifying here is the section which is going to be for mobile device users. Right, so the next stage, we can see here that this video here has too much padding. So we need to fix this. So what I'm going to do as well is... In fact, I'm just going to save this for now. Okay, so here, what we're going to do, let's fix the video. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into the video module settings. Click on design, sizing. So here we can see it's at 70%. We want to increase this to about 100%. Click on this 
little icon here and now you see it looks much better because it's covering more space. Now if you take a look at the top one here you can see it has a lot of uh, white space on the sides. So this one here looks much better now. We can actually tweak this even more because we want this to be closer to the top. So let's go to spacing and then let's add a margin but this time it's going to be a negative margin. So here you can see it's minus 32. I think that's a good. I think I'm happy with that. So this is what I want my mobile viewers to see. I'm going to save that. Okay. So what you may also want to do is to come over here to wireframe mode. Right. So here on the wireframe mode, we see that uh, we have this hero. Okay. So we can rename these. So I'm just going to go in here and just say desktop. And then for this one here, I'm just going to call this mobile. Okay. So that's just so that uh, when I come in here, I know exactly where everything is. So what you can do now is you can simply go into this gear icon, advanced, visibility. We want to disable this on desktop and tablet. Okay. So this is only going to show on the phone. So let's go here into our view and let's see how that works. So I'm going to click here. Okay, so that's looking good. Right, so let's save. So on the main section here, we want this to be visible to everyone uh, that visits the site on desktop. So you want to come over here, click on advanced visibility. So we want to disable this on phones. Save that. Move on to the next one. So this one here, we want to disable it on desktop and tablet. Good. Save that. Scroll down here. Let's go into this one. So I'm just double checking here to make sure everything is looking okay. Right, so this one here, disable on phone. So this one here is good. Okay, so I think that's all. I'm going to save this. Okay, so it looks like all these are grayed out. So everything seems to be working okay. But I've just noticed that on the bottom here, this one here is not fixed. So I'm just going to come over here, visibility, disable on phone. And that's how you troubleshoot this. So everything else is grayed out except this one here. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my desktop view. I'm going to save this, exit the Visual Builder, and then we're going to take a look at, what, at this one more time. Right, okay, so if I right click here and inspect, if I click here on this mobile tab, we see that this is only the information that we see. So when people come to your website with a mobile device or a phone, this is what they see. Everything else is disabled. But if I, if I come back over here to the desktop, everything else is there. Okay, so that's looking great. So let's say you want your contact page also to be simplified. So so that uh, your visitors, when they come to your website, they just read the title here and uh, the description and they play the video so that they have an insight on what your website is about. But of course, it doesn't have to be just video. It could be anything else. Now, when they click the contact us uh, link again on mobile devices, you may want to simplify this again. So we're going to come over here. So this is our contact page. So you can, as you can see here, we have quite a lot of information here, quite a lot of information. So you may not need this. So someone knows on the mobile device, he's on the go, he just wants to call or he just wants to fill in the information. So this is where we get to simplify this as well. So I'm going to come in here and definitely I'm not going to need um, most of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate a new section which will have the content that I need. So I'm just going to duplicate this here on the top and then... Uh, what I'm going to do here, because this one here is going to be the one which will have, which will be accessible to mobile device users. So I'm just going to delete this row. I'm going to delete the schedule appointment. Yeah, this is fine. But all I'm going to add here is a phone number and a form. Okay, so I'm going to click here on this plus button to add a row, single column. I'm just going to close that. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to drag this one here because this has already been created. I'm just going to drag it into position. So now that I have this into position, that's looking good. Uh, I'm just going to center everything because I prefer this to be centered because it's going to be on a mobile device. 
So I'm just going to go into and multi-select this. So here, I'm going to choose this, this as well. And then click on this gear icon, design, text, and then the text orientation, centered. Okay, so this one here has worked okay. Let's fix the, this one here on the top. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go into each and every one of these. Now, sometimes, it's, you know, it's a bit um, tedious to go in and try and um, recreate all this. So what you could do is you can actually go in and just delete. In fact, let me save this. You can just delete this and then create your own. Okay, so I'll just click here on this plus button. We're going to call this, uh, this is going to be a text module. So we're just going to say, contact us. Okay, and then we're going to say, call on. Okay, let's add a plus four, four. Well, this is not a real number, so don't try and call it. <laughs> right, okay, so I've got this now. I'm going to highlight this uh, text. In fact, let me clip, let me go into the visual tab. I'm going to highlight this text, click on paragraph, and I'm going to make this heading two. In fact, we can even make it heading one. And then I'm going to come over here to my design tab, text, we're going to center this. And then the next thing is, is, is to style this. So let's start with our heading text. Make the text bigger. Let's change the color to white so you can, you can read it nice and easy. And then over here, we can also make it all caps if we need to. And then change this from regular to maybe bold. And then next, we're going to come over here on the number. And we're going to increase the text size. Okay, let's make it 20 or 22. In fact, let's make it 20. Okay, let's make it white. And we're going to make this bold as well. Increase some line height. And then I'm going to add some letter spacing so it's easier to read. So I think two is fine. Okay, so that's looking good. I'm going to save now. So now we have a form and we have the contact details. Now this background here, you may want to go in and uh, maybe play around with that if you want to make it a bit darker. So I'm just going to come over here and play around with the gradients. So what we could do here is we could go into the colors. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to save. Right, so now let's go in as we did before. We want to disable these on mobile devices. So I'm just going to click here on this gear icon click advanced, visibility, disable on phone. Okay, so that's for the top one, save. Okay, so this one here, of course, we don't want to uh, disable, uh, we want to show this on desktops. So we're going to come over here to this gear icon, advanced, visibility, disable on desktop, and maybe tablet. In fact, I'll leave tablet as it is. So we disable this on the desktop, save that. And then the maps and all of that, we don't need this on the mobile device. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, advanced, visibility, disable on phone. Save that. Moving on, we're going to do the same here. Advanced, visibility, disable on phone. Save that. Okay, so I think that's all. I'm going to click on publish. Now, before I view this, I'm just going to come over here and just make sure that the grayed out parts are really grayed out. So we can see here that this top part is grayed out and this part here is visible, which is great. And even on the mobile device, this, these form um, fields look really nice. That's great. Now, you know, I like paying attention to uh, very little detail. So I can see here that there's a gap here on the top. I want to go in and fix that. So I'm just going to come over here to my row settings, design, sizing. In fact, it's spacing that I need. And the spacing I'm going to adjust is going to be on my phone. Okay. So on the top, I'm just going to add negative margin. I'm just going to drag this dial here until I get to about minus 40. So that gap has been reduced. Now that looks really nice. I'm going to save that. Okay, I'm going to save the page and then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. Now, 
Now let's take a look at this. So you can see here on the desktop, everything looks fine. And then that form now has disappeared here on the desktop view. And that's exactly what we need. Okay. And then over here, I'm just going to right click and inspect this. And now we see that this form can only be viewed on the device. So our website here, when people come to this website from their mobile device, they just see this. They click contact us and they come straight here. So that's how you optimize your web pages for desktops and mobile devices. Today's episode is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link to that is in the description below. So that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I go live or when I post new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.